Hello there, how are you? So in this video, I'm gonna show you the perfect method of restoring erasing your iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch without losing the jailbreak and it will stay on the current version after restoring. So we can jailbreak it again. We're gonna use the tweak called Cydia Eraser but there are so many people who, uh, who have tried this Cydia Eraser. So they always get stuck between the restore process. Actually you need to do something before using Cydia Eraser. So just keep the eye on my YouTube video. Our very first step is to remove everything in Cydia. So to remove every tweak, we don't go to each tweak to uninstall. Just simply remove the Cydia substrate from the phone and all the other tweaks will automatically remove from the phone. We are removing the tweaks because Cydia Eraser doesn't work with some of the tweaks. I mean it's not compatible with few tweaks so it gives error. But after you remove all the tweaks, it will run smoothly without any errors. If you have a huge collection of tweaks, it will take few minutes to remove. I am fast forwarding the video to make the video short. Now just press restart springboard and just close the Cydia from the background. If you have installed any stashing tweak in your phone, so make sure to remove it otherwise Cydia Eraser will stuck at some point and it's not a good thing because I don't want you to lose the jailbreak. So now what I am installing is not necessary, but this is only for the safety in case if Cydia Eraser is stuck on somewhere. So now you need OpenSSH and Apple File Conduit. I don't know how to pronounce this word. <laughs> okay, so install this and the last thing, AMP Terminal. Let's search it. AMP Terminal. So, and I think we need iFile too, but okay, so forget it, let it go, let's now install them. Uh, Now finally we will install Cydia Eraser and let's see now what we will do.
So we have installed Cydia Eraser but don't press the erase button because we have to do some more homework. So we're gonna delete the iCloud from our phone before doing a restore because I was reading comments of the people saying that Cydia Eraser won't work with the iCloud enabled phone. So remove iCloud from your phone. Huh. iCloud is removed now and make sure to disable low power mode for whatever reason just do it friends. And now the last thing auto lock. Remember it should be on never. So before using the erase button on Cydia eraser make sure make sure to connect your phone with the charger and connect your phone with the internet because it will download some missing files on the phone from the server from the apple server i think so if you use any vpn so also disconnect it from your phone and i highly highly recommend you to follow my full video and all the steps to do a restore process properly and perfect Okay, so all done now, just press the red text at bottom of Cydia Eraser and let's start the restoring process. Boom! So now wait for about 10 minutes. I am just fast forwarding the video. So you can see Cydia Eraser worked fine and the whole process of restoring is completed. It took almost 15 minutes and I have now brand new iOS so now let's set up this phone. So you can see it is still on 10.1.1. So I will gonna jailbreak it again. So I hope this method is worked for you. It was a long method but the safest method on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Hit like and subscribe to the channel. Love ya.